full for her first vault. The start value for this vault is 10 points, so it's possible to receive a perfect score on this vault. That was a strong vault, but she made some mistakes. Her legs were a little bit bent in the flight, and she had a small hop on the landing, so she won't be receiving a perfect 10. In the individual event finals, Sandy Woolsey, like the rest of the competitors, will have two vaults, and they'll average those two scores. Here's her round off and a back handspring onto the horse. Big push, layout full off. Now that vault requires a great deal of precision and consistency, and those are trademarks of Sandy Woolsey. At 17, Sandy's one of the oldest in the finals. We asked her if it's tough to stay competitive that long. I think a lot of it is when they get older, women mature. And I think that has a lot to do with it. And also, their views over it. If it's negative when you're little, you can still handle it, but it affects you and you can destroy yourself as you grow older. I think a lot of, t a lot of it, I think, is attitude. How you view gymnastics. If you think of it, how hard it is, how hard it is. As you go on, it just gets harder and harder, and then the more you don't want to do it, and then, then you're like, forget it, this isn't worth it. It is truly amazing. At 17, she's a veteran. On the men's side, she'd be one of the youngest competitors. She'd just be starting out, Joel. Man, Sandy Woolsey with a 9.725 on that first vault. All right, for Sandy's second vault, she performed a tuck to the heart with a full twist. That also was valued at 10 points. She did a good job, nice and clean. A hop on the landing, that'll cost her. And it looks like there was some pain on that landing as well for Sandy Woolsey, almost like she strained her back a little bit. For Sandy's first vault, she performed a round-off entry, backwards entry onto the horse. This is a forward entry, nice push, nice clean form in the air, and two-tenths deduction on the landing for the hop. And the average of